guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Tonight we're back here with Phantom Strider. This just recently uploaded. It's the six censored Lego sets. Yeah, even Legos get censored. It ain't just TV or movies. So, let's see what the got them censored. So be sure to like, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's learn these Lego sets that got censored. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, like sorry. a TV show that censors out the swear words, sometimes Lego censors out certain parts of their sets. They might really? not be considered kid-friendly enough. Or well, they might it's introduce the kids to very serious topics, and Lego may not be willing to do that. No. Or Lego considered yeah, the failed. original material too violent. So let's check out the six censored Lego sets. And I'm not necessarily yeah, criticizing Lego for censored, censoring remember. all these sets. This is more observations of the changes Lego has chosen to make. But I may huh. still voice my personal opinion a little bit. But I'd like Shall to we? ask a friend's help discussing these sets. Yeah, They've covered this topic before in their own channel, and they're a true Lego master. In fact, I took inspiration for this from their video. Hey, just too good. Wanna help oh, out? Oh, okay. I've covered these sets before. I'd be glad to help. Sorry, I was just a little bit surprised there. Hey, thanks, my friend. It's great to have Let's you begin. back. Let's begin. First up, number six. <laughs> The Jurassic World or Dino sets. Originally, really? in the they... Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies, the humans were desperately fighting for their lives, and they'd often have to bring out lethal weapons, or else they'd be okay. torn to shreds by yeah. dinosaurs. But soldiers and civilians in modern LEGO dinosaur sets will never wield any lethal weapons. Rather, they'll instead carry tranquilizer guns. But this wasn't always Fair? the case. LEGO even censored the names of these sets, where in 2005 in North America, we had Dino Attack. The rest of the world mm -hmm. had Dino 2010 the same year. The original Oddly. Dino Attack sets were about hunting down and killing, or at least defending against the dinosaurs with heavy artillery vehicles. You can see on the front box, the helicopter is yeah. firing at the dinosaur as the building is set on fire. It's kind of awesome. But modern dino sets yeah, change nope. this around to be about the capture of the dinosaurs. That being said, a lot of these still look awesome. At first, there were still some weapons, but by Dino 2012, all lethal weapons had been dropped completely in favor of tranquilizers. Also, on I mean, a side note, I'm, this box again... is kind of bothering me. Do you think this box's colors are kind of garish and clash terribly with the Lego? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I remember we were awesome. talking and you were saying that you like the box designs of Dino Attack as opposed to the exposure on the Dino 2010 sets. Whether or not I agree with Lego's change, I think I understand why they made the change. Mm -hmm. While hunting was a more common hobby in previous decades, it's True. not as much of a social norm nowadays as it was then. For some people, why would they bother hunting their food when they can buy their meat from the store, while other people feel in their element hunting in nature? Wild meat is extremely climate friendly too, so there's definite pluses. Anyway, way off topic. Nowadays, Lego right. dino sets haven't a single lethal weapon in sight, Jurassic or otherwise. I don't know. Personally, I'd like some defense against a giant human eating yeah, carnivore I don't think those beyond a tranquilizer. Are help. Nowadays, we have sets like the Dino Hunter set, which comes with a big crane to capture the T Rex, but no lethal weapons yeah, they ain't in sight. Yeah, that thing, let's be honest. Number five. Number five? Lego Star Wars. Oh, Boba Fett's Boba Starship. Starship. Originally, Boba Fett's Whatever. Starship was actually called Slave what? One. But the Lego version was yeah. changed to <laughs> Boba Fett Starship. I think there's one particular reason this was changed. A Lego set with the word slave in it stands out like yeah. a sore thumb. <laughs> It's a word with a lot of muddy history and atrocities yeah, behind it. So I'm not that surprised that Lego shied away from the word. Hey, yeah, I remember I you discussed this one already. So what did you think show. about Lego avoiding the S word? Now this is speculation, of course, but I don't think they want to advertise that Boba Fett was a slaver and that he had a ship to transport slaves. I mean, slavery is bad, of course, so are wars, and it's a series called Star Wars. Whatever you do, do not look at where the name Stormtrooper comes from. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, they can call their sets whatever they want. It's their company. But this time, we actually have yeah, confirmation fair. on what happened right from the source. As Brickset and Jedi News briefly spoke with the LEGO Star Wars design team about the change name. They're not calling it Slave One anymore. It's Boba Fett Starship. Okay, why are we dropping why? the slave name? Why are you it's doing not that? something that's been announced publicly, but it's a name that Disney doesn't want to use anymore. 
Now that Disney's taken over Star Wars, I guess Ew. they just want to play it safer and avoid any references to Boba Fett's previous cargo. And finally, there's of course a less I'll cultural and more later. practical reason for this name change. It's just straight up better marketing to advertise Boba Fett on your Lego box, rather than some random ship name like Slave One. Ah! I mean, he's better now, but... Bye. Yeah, back then. Boba Fett did not get a lot of love. Especially with how he was treated in the show. Or movies, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, Disney did not like the whole slavery and goal. Let's be real. I mean, hey, there wasn't even a movie that got banned because of, like, the idea of slavery. You know, uh, Song of the South? You know, zippity doo da, zippity a. You know, that? Yeah, you could definitely see the slavery angle there. <laughs> that was one of their big boo boos, but did turn out an iconic song in zippity doo da day. <laughs> what? Can I, I can't help if I say it, you know? Zippity doo da, zippity a. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. If you know that song, you know the movie. Trust me, look it up. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, next. Aha, wait, what? I can't do it. Number four. Thank you. Super Mario, Boomer Bill Barrage. What a uh, weird name. I've heard of the Bonsai Bill, but for some weird reason, they've renamed Bonsai Bill to Boomer Bill. I don't think there's ever been an enemy in Mario called Boomer Bill. Has there? Maybe? Nope. It seems like Lego just made that up. Huh. Why'd they change the name? Well, to be fair, well, Bonsai the Bill had the word bonsai. bonsai in it, which is a Japanese war yep. cry. Bonsai! It's a loaded title. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. The Bonsai Charge was a term used during World War II to refer to Japanese human wave attacks. Basically, Basically when the Nazi allied Japanese forces conducted a frontal assault with a huge wave of soldiers. But you know, on the Basically other hand, on the Bonsai enemy. can also be translated to a Japanese cheer. Bonsai! Bonsai! I'd also know that Bonsai, bonsai! could be changed to a bonsai tree with two letters changed. but. On it the other hand, very well, unfortunate things could be done to the words rake and count with only one letter change. Yeah. So I th think I'll keep that argument to myself. Good call. Lego mm -hmm. standards seem Stop. to change a lot with war stuff. I mean, there's some new Indiana Jones stuff covering some war stuff. There's Star Wars once again. It's kind of confusing. It is a weird double standard, you, isn't it? Like, I know, guess Star Wars is considered out. buried yeah. enough in sci-fi that they make an exception. When it comes to real life stuff, I remember you mentioned they did censoring oh. with the Osprey too. Yeah, Lego pulled the release of the Osprey right before it was supposed to come out. Some small stores still got it, and then they would just released this statement covering it all. We have a long-standing policy not to create sets military which feature vehicles. military vehicles, okay. so it has been decided not to proceed with the launch of this product. We appreciate that some fans who are looking forward to this set may be disappointed, but we believe it's important to ensure we uphold vehicle? our I'm brand values. <sighs> All right, Lego, fair enough. You do you. Editor, fun fact here. Oh, I hey, asked him if he gave me this segment because he assumed I would know the anime used in all of the bonsai memes he kept finding during his research. To which, yeah, it's not a manga collection, dio. episode two, but that's beside the point. What mm -hmm. he doesn't oh. know is that this show is actually about World War II naval ships having souls yeah. and being reincarnated as cutesy anime girls. I am not even kidding. Bonsai indeed, Strider. World War II naval Naval ship? Really? Well, well now I know. Anything last from anime. Number three, <laughs> Lego Jabba's Palace. Oh, this yeah, set has caused Leia, that's, endless I problems, it, hasn't it? Right? As well as the controversy it got into with the Turkish cultural community, oh, yeah, the, the Lego set also got a couple of censorships. Ouch. In the original Lego Jabba's Palace, we got a slave layer in a bikini. But in the modern Jabba's Palace set, Chewbacca is in chains instead. Do keep in mind that in 2000. 13, which was a year after the Jabba's Palace, we did get Slave Leia in the Jabba's Sail Barge set, Oof. but I guess maybe they didn't want to put her chain to the wall like the original set had, or maybe it was just Lego saying, oh yeah, you gotta buy this other set to complete this set that we released the previous year. Oh dang, I missed that one completely, sorry. Oops. I guess they saved oh. Slave Leia for the special yacht set. Another censorship I pointed out in my list video was the Dancing Twi'lek, where they censored the nipples. In the movie, her nipples are exposed, but it is in the dark, so you can't really see too much. In this particular set, obviously that particular feature was avoided. 
Still, at least they kept the Probably fish in the that shirt. I mean, haven't you noticed? I guess Lego male figures don't even include nipples either. Hey, yeah, you're right. They don't. Why do you suppose that is? It seems like it'd be super easy to Wouldn't just add like cool erotic to show the nipples to their figures. Something? I mean, some Remember. theories have it that if they did have those, people would just swap the minifigure head and make a nude female or whatever, which is more taboo yeah, in many parts that. of the world. Who knows? That's true, though I suppose if trolls are going to go that far, they might as well just draw the dots on themselves. Mm -hmm. And what do we got for number two? two? Lego there. Simpsons. When it comes to Simpsons, so, there's a lot of uh -oh. alcohol references. And Lego makes sure to keep almost any okay. references to alcohol out of their sets. I mean, Lego has an exception to this rule if it's a historical or historical no. fantasy setting, castle, pirates, you'll see booze yeah, pop up. All. But when it comes to, say, a modern beer like Duff beer, no. they instead give Homer a Buzz Cola to drink. And like, mm, I, I get it, cola. but when has Homer ever drunk a Buzz Cola in his life? Two examples of where we can see this alcohol censoring are in LEGO Dimensions, and of course in the LEGO Quickie Mart set. Homer can be seen in these holding a Buzz Cola. I mean, there is that modern setting of Bro Thor set which has booze implied, but you didn't see like Selma and Patty smoking cigarettes in the Simpsons series too. Oh uh, yeah, no more chain smoking from these two. They're holding their DMV equipment instead, so I guess you could argue they can't smoke on the job. Or even better, maybe sense. they quit. That'd be amazing. According yeah, to the only. Simpsons wiki, the grey tinge in Patty and Selma's hair is actually due to cigarette ash. So I think Yikes. Lego can only hide their addiction so much here. Though I have noticed oh, that Patty and Selma haven't been showing up as much in modern Simpsons episodes. I wonder if modern Simpsons are trying to shy them away from their chain-smoking habits. Well, probably. probably not. Because it turns out Patty and Selma quit smoking in season 27 in the episode Puffless. They finally really? learnt what caused their dad's death. Apparently he died of lung cancer. And that finally gave Ooh. the duo the push they needed to finally quit smoking. Good for them. Wait, hmm. never mind. They immediately smoke at the end of the episode. I mean, yeah, trust me. Sobriety is very hard. Oh. Somebody who's been sober for almost a year now. But there is one glaring omission where it's like, oh, they didn't include that character. Someone else is missing? Who? Mo. He's missing oh, from tavern? all the Lego Simpson sets. Not even Lego Dimensions. Oh yeah, really? unless you look at custom builds, there's no chance of building Mo's tavern. But some people will be like, why would they do this? Lego Star Wars has bartenders. Yeah, they have too. Star Wars seems to be exception to some of their rules, don't they? You know, I guess money. Mo is like the physical embodiment of alcohol references. When I see Mo, I think it's hard not to think of beer. Don't worry. I still like your Mo. Rock on! It's a shame. Trust Fair. me, Mo is one of my most wanted minifigures ever. Rock on, Mo. He's a great character. Rock on. Yeah, we all like Mo. Rock on, buddy. <laughs> and for number, number one, one. Lego Harley, Harley Quinn, Quinn from Suicide Squad. It's interesting to see Ooh. just what Lego has done with Harley Quinn. She's a real star of the Lego DC supervillains, and she's mm -hmm. been in many Lego sets. But you'll Definitely probably never see the name of the squad she's famous for being in, the Suicide Squad. Lego Harley Quinn's just kind of there. And to me, this makes some sense. I don't think Lego wants to be the ones to introduce the word suicide to kids. Because detaching yeah. that word from squad could lead to mm. some potentially shocking search results for some kids. And it could lead to parents having to discuss a very serious topic with their yeah. kids much earlier ready. than they ever thought they'd have to. Yeah, but LEGO did try to capitalize on Suicide Squad's fame, where they advertised it at the time of the release of the new Suicide Squad movie on their yeah, LEGO the one shop Starro, page. Basically. Yeah, I remember LEGO YouTubers like Ash and Flash were kind of annoyed at the double standards of this. I, I don't understand what they were thinking. Like, to me, I thought it was a joke. Like, there's no way. What are they thinking? He pointed out that LEGO advertised Harley Quinn on the release day of Suicide Squad in her uniform right on their front page. Yet when you click to browse these LEGO sets, there's no, there. no Suicide Squad sets to be seen. Instead, Harley Quinn uses her Suicide Squad costume in the Batman vs. Penguin set for some reason. It seems uh, like LEGO okay. would like to capitalize on the popularity of Harley Quinn more. But perhaps well, the name of the way, squad makes kind it of the most no famous member. I mean, so that makes sense. the movie's rated R. And the, the others, second one, oof. at least, at the Ouch. time this advertisement was out. And, of course, the name, The Suicide Squad, definitely prevented it when the first movie came out. But, yeah. Awkward. 
there have been some really good sets submitted to LEGO Ideas too. People tried to make a set referring to the said squad, but to no big surprise, LEGO has rejected all of these ideas. There's also small censored details, like in the movie, the character had property of Joker, but in the Apocalypseburg set, that title's removed. Nothing. Well, I do yeah, get I mean, that modification name, better. Personally, surprising. I'm alright with that change for kids. LEGO yeah. doesn't seem to have any content tied to R ratings. Like, they do a list video kind of looking into the closest things they had to R-rated tie-ins. You can check that out on Just Too Good. Anyway, if you have an yeah, opinion on these products. sets that were censored, or you think I missed a set, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks to my friend Just Too Good for their help, and for inspiring this video with their own censored LEGO sets video. You can find Just Too Good's video of this here. No problem, Strider. This was so much fun, and I can't wait to be on here again. And as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I might see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Today we have two- Well, nice to see Robin again. <laughs> And there you go, six censored Lego sets. Honestly, I think with some of these, yeah, you can definitely see why they did it. I mean, let's be real. No mention of slaves, because, yikes. Not good. And especially considering Disney was doing Star Wars, so, whoops. Let's well, yeah, I think they were able to get away with it, because, you know, Disney and want to feel right. <laughs> At least that's what I think, but what about you? Anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.